Hey y'all, it's Robert with Liber. Today we're shaking up a tiki drink that will take you from the summer into the fall and cooler weather months. It's from our friend at Subtle Tiki. It's called Sweater Weather. So to get started, it's a shaken drink. We'll start by adding some ice to our shaker tin. So we'll add half an ounce of our almond orgeat syrup. And orgeat is a great ingredient because it's super versatile with those kind of bright, fruity, tropical flavors you find in the summer. But it also does great with baking spices uh, and other kind of fall and holiday type flavors too. So next we'll add just a quarter ounce, so very little uh, measure of allspice dram. This is a great, great fall uh, and winter ingredient, but it is very powerful. So be real careful when you add this. Um, Adam and Chris make fun of me because I love this ingredient. I think it brings a lot of complex, deep flavor to a lot of cocktails. It's kind of like bitters uh, on steroids. So be careful with this one, but, um, but really fun ingredient to play with, especially in the cooler months. And then we'll go with one and a half ounces of a really nice uh, aged rum. Next, we'll add apple brandy. So Laird's Applejack, this is the oldest distillery in America. It's, a, it's an awesome staple ingredient in fall cocktails. It brings a lot of apple notes to it. It's not sweet at all. So even though it's you know apple brandy, it's not bringing any sugar to the table. We're gonna add half an ounce of this. After that, we'll add our acid ingredients. So we're gonna go with half an ounce of fresh lemon juice. And then lastly, we're gonna use an ounce of apple juice. So that is all of our ingredients. We're gonna, no it's not. I forgot the tiki bitters. <laughs> and finally for this cocktail, we're gonna add four to six, in this case drops, but dashes of tiki bitters. That's everything we got in the shaker. Uh, add the top to it and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. So now that everything's nice and ice cold, well diluted, uh, we're gonna go ahead and use uh, crushed ice in this drink, which is a really fun ingredient. You can make your own crushed ice, just get your kitchen ice and uh, maybe put it in a kind of a burlap sack or put it in a, <laughs> cause you got burlap sacks laying around. Just take some kitchen ice and put it in a gallon Ziploc bag and like hit it with a pan or a, a meat tenderizer or something, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that turns into crushed ice. It crushes your ice. Sonic has great crushed ice and they actually sell bags of it. So uh, for like two or three bucks, you can go to you know your local Sonic, pick up a bag of that like kind of pebble crushed ice. Uh, that's what we're gonna use here today and fill it up about halfway, maybe two thirds of the way with the ice. So as we said, we'll top this uh, with cr more crushed ice to kind of give it that snow cone dome effect. This is a lot of cocktail. Let's uh, so let's give it this kind of nice snow cone effect with a nice mound of crushed ice on top. Making a mess is half the fun. And then lastly, we're gonna garnish this with a really cool garnish. We've just taken an apple and kind of cut it into thin slices, and then you can kind of fan it out like a deck of cards. And this is the sweater weather cocktail.